Real Estate Tips Tuesday and this week's tip we're going to be talking about all the pests in your garden and the seven that you actually want to see in your garden to keep it healthy and vibrant all year long. So pest number one is snakes. Yes, snakes get a bad rap and they are kind of crawly and creepy, but they are great to have around your garden because they eat lots of pests such as rodents, slugs, grubs, and grasshoppers. And they're also vital to the other part of the food chain where they are food for birds of prey, hawks and owls and the such. So they're very vital to the ecosystem of your garden. Pest number two, ants. Now, while you don't want the ants in your house and there's ways to prevent them from getting in, ants are great to have in your yard and your garden because they are nature's original garden and lawn aerators because they make tunnels throughout your yard, which helps to bring oxygen and nutrients into your lawn, keeping it healthy and vibrant all season long. They also help to decompose or compost old dead leaves that bring great nutrients back into your yard and garden. Pest number three are toads. Now you might not have too many toads here in the Colorado area. When you do have them, they're great to have in your garden because they eat lots and lots of pests that destroy your garden, such as grubs and slugs and cutworms and things that are damaging to your garden. So you definitely wanna have those around and you can create little homes for them to encourage them to be around in your garden. Pest number four. While most people think these as pests, I actually enjoy them and think that they're awesome. And these are bats. Bats eat a lot of lot of insects that are pests in your yard and garden, such as moths and definitely mosquitoes. We have a bunch of bats that fly around our yard and garden in the evening time and it is so cool to watch them fly around and eat all those unwanted bugs. Pest number five are lizards. Now, while we don't have very many lizards here in the metro area, they are there are some in the southern and western and eastern slopes of the state where it's nice and warm and encourages those types of critters. Now, they're good to have around because they eat tons of insects that are damaging to your garden, just like all the other ones that I've mentioned. They eat lots of bugs such as cockroaches, crickets, and flies. Pest number six, well, I don't actually think this is a pest, some people do, and these are bees and some wasps. Now, you definitely don't want them making their home or their nests in your home or say your children's playground equipment. They are vital to the ecosystem where they are the biggest pollinators of all of our food sources. So you definitely want to encourage them being in your garden to help your vegetables to be pollinated and grow and be healthy all year long. And while most of them can sting, they are very busy doing other things rather than trying to sting you. Bees also create things that we use as products in our everyday lives, such as honey, honeycombs, and some of the stuff that we use in medicines. So they are definitely vital to our ecosystem. And the top pest, number seven, which most people just can't stand, and these are spiders. But spiders are a great thing to have in your garden and your lawn and around your home. Maybe not necessarily in your home, but definitely outside because they have huge appetites and they eat a array of different types of bugs and pests, such as flies and stink bugs and they help to eliminate the use of lots of pesticides. So you can keep your home free of chemical pesticides as well. There are certain things that you can do to prevent them from getting into your home, but they are definitely part of a very healthy and vibrant garden and lawn. If you have any questions about this video, please contact me through any of my social pages. 
And if you enjoyed this video, please press the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button. And until next week, have a wonderful rest of your week.